Hello friends, welcome back to the new tutorial of the Next.js 14. Today we are going to learn get server side props in the Next.js 14. So those who haven't subscribed my channel yet, please do subscribe my channel and if you like the video, please do like, share and comment on my video. Let's get started. Get server side props in the Next.js function can be used to fetch data and render the contents of a page at a request time. So whenever you request the data to fetch from the any of the API, so in that case, get server side property, props is used. So basically, whenever you get with a request, like suppose um, I'm going to hit the API. So whenever I hit the API, whenever I request, the uh, API to get the data, it will give you the data, the fresh data, right? Get server side props is a powerful function in the next just 14 that allows you to fetch the data on the server side for each request whenever you request. It, this ensures that your pages always reflect the latest data, making it ideal for the scenarios where content updates frequently. Where you need the content should be uh, updated frequently and you want to get the data on that note, so use the get server side props, okay? So how it works? So let me explain. Server side execution, get server side props runs on the server for every request to a page that exports it. Unlike get static props, which runs during the build process. So get server side props is executed dynamically. So it executes dynamically, right? Data fetching inside the get server side props, you use libraries like fetch or the dedicated data to fetching the libraries to interact with the APIs or the database. You can fetch any kind of data into your page required, right? Props passing. So you return an object from the get server side props with the props key, the data you fetched and is passed as a properties to the page component, making it accessible for rendering. Means like suppose uh, you have the function, right? And you are hitting an API. So you have to send or return the data you fetched is passed as a properties to the page component so whatever data you are fetched it will be passed as a properties to the page component and making it accessible for rendering then here you can loop loop the data and show or render the data into your next year's application okay <clears throat> then we have a pre-rendering once the get server side props completes the data fetching the page is pre-rendered on the server with the fetch data included this ensures that the initial rendering is fast and user sees the data immediately <laughs> then we have a client side rehydration after the initial rendering the javascript code hydrates the page on the client potentially making additional requests if needed when should i use the get static props okay so you should use the get static Get server side props, get server side props. If you need to render a page that relies on the personalized user data, information that can be only known at a request time, for example, authorization headers or geolocation. In that case, you, could, you should use get server side props. If you don't need to fetch the data at a request time or you prefer the cache the data and pre-rendered HTML, we recommend get static props, which we have already discussed, right? Moving to the next one, let's do the code implementation with this. So let me copy the code from here. So make a use of the shift. Okay, let's copy this and I'm going to replace the code with this. Okay, so here you can see that I'm using get server side props, fetching the data and again passing the data from here. Okay, so and after that you can see we have passed this as a props data to the as a properties to the page component and here we are doing the loop part okay here you can see that so very easy very simple let's try to save this and let's try to run autom automatically it run i guess here we go with this one so here you can see the data is fetched right so whenever you want whenever you just uh, get the fresh data you this will help you right suppose i'm fetching the data from my database right currently so so whenever uh, so this case so like suppose i want to fetch the data from the every time i request from to get the data from the database in that case this will be very helpful and if i'm using the get static props then it will not going to give me the data every time i request why because there is a cache issue on that okay so there is a difference in that when whenever uh, like suppose 
you can do that one like uh, how the scenario will replicate suppose um, you can see that uh, you have a data into your database and manually you go and just insert a one record into your database and try to fetch the record from that one then you will get to know about that how the things is going to be working okay so this is that one and uh, let's any point that i have left it from here okay so this is the next part right so that's it for now okay so any doubt any query in that do let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching this video have a great day